Hello, Walid. How are you? Hello, Dr. Asif. I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you so much for your time. Welcome, sir. Okay. So, uh, before going to our main discussion that how you have qualified CAPS exam, uh, I want that you can please introduce yourself. Okay. My name is Walid Zafar. I have done my graduation from D from Aptabad University of Science and Technology from session 2015 to 2020. Uh, so I've uh, started preparing uh, CAPS for CAPS exam later after two years. I have two years of experience in sales and marketing okay. uh, for uh, national companies. Okay. So... Uh, when you decided to apply for the CAPS exam, when you appeared? Well, okay. Uh, after spending two years in the field, uh, so I have uh, come to know that there is a there is an exam that is known as CAPS for Australia. The pathway was very clear uh, as compared to other exams. So I have decided to go for the CAPS because it is easier and it is easier to get PR uh, in Australia. So that was uh, easy for me to do that. Uh, but then I've started preparation after that. Okay. So you appear in the March 2023 exam, right? Yes, right. But uh, you failed the paper too. Yes. So can you please explain to the viewers what was the reasons behind this? Okay, I've uh, uh, applied for the uh, CAPS in March 2023 session. Uh, for that, I have prepared uh, by myself for six months uh, using different files from different platforms like different groups, WhatsApp groups uh, and Facebook groups. But... Uh, the preparation was wavered uh, for the uh, first time. Mm -hmm. uh, the paper one was easy for me, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the paper two was uh, a bit tricky at that time. So uh, it was difficult at that time for me to answer all these questions. So I got confused. Uh, I have uh, followed too many resources. Mm -hmm. uh, so that uh, was the main problem for me at the uh, first attempt. Okay. So that's why I uh, okay. not uh, uh, passed the first attempt. Okay. So uh, how many questions were, were there in the paper two and the calculations part in the March exam? Okay. In the March exam, there were only 12 to 13 questions from therapeutics part in calculation. Okay. Uh, from biopharmaceutics, there were uh, about four to five. Uh, that includes uh, half-life and loading dose and maintenance dose question was there. Okay. So all in all, in total uh, calculation part, uh, there were about 17 to 18 questions. 17 to 18 questions. In what therapeutics. Are... So Overall. the typical part was uh, basically the calculations part? Yes, the difficult part was calculation, but as well as uh, some uh, therapeutics part as well. Uh, for the first time, I have skipped uh, so many recalls because recalls are the basic uh, part of any uh, competitive exam all over the world. Any exam you, you sit in, you have to... Uh, go through all these past exam papers. So uh, for the first time, I have uh, not gone through all these recalls. So that was the reason uh, of uh, paper two failure. So what do you think, which type of uh, PDF uh, files are important, the recalls files? Okay, for me, uh, the most important uh, file for uh, CAPS exam to crack that is Allah Nasir, the very, the most important. And for calculations, it is Logan and Nauf file. That okay. is very important as well, uh, as far as the calculations are concerned. So for the calculations, Logan and Nauf, 
and uh, for the other uh, Alan yes. recalls are very very important. So the students yes. need to focus recalls on these are very points. important. Yes, very much. Okay, and what was your experience in July exam? Oh, the July exam. I was very very focused, and I I was very sure that what I have to do and mm. what I have to study because from the first experience I have had in March uh, uh, so I did not repeat those mistakes in July paper I was very focused I was very uh, into the paper uh, very specific study uh, so that was the plan so I have uh, finally cracked the exam. So I'm very happy that your notes, your uh, uh, lectures have helped me really. So I have uh, focused on these files as well and your lectures as well that helped me really very much in cracking the part two exam this time. Alhamdulillah. Okay, thank you so much. So. After joining the Dreamers Academy uh, for the July uh, exam, then you qualify the paper two very easily after studying the notes of the Dreamers Academy, right? Yes. Okay, so Walid, what was your experience in the July exam that uh, which type of PDF files are more important to study in the July exam? Okay. Some of the recalls from al Nasir because al Nasir was the main file for me because 50 to 60 questions were from uh, that file as well. And some uh, the conceptual questions were also there uh, that from your uh, lectures, I have managed to answer all these questions as well. So uh, all in all, Allah Nasir was main, uh, some of your lectures and calculations as well from Logan and now. Uh, so I have managed to answer these questions very easily. Okay, so what do you think it was your mistake that you have not joined any academy for the March exam or any uh, platform of study? Yes, uh, I was confident enough for the first time that I can clear the exam without joining any academy. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, at the end, it was... Uh, my mistake you can say that that i could not join any academy or i could not found a correct pathway to crack that exam as well okay so, so uh, how you are feeling now after clearing caps exam oh i'm very very happy that i have cleared finally i've cleared the exam and uh, and finally finally i'm going to australia as an intern pharmacist and inshallah soon to be a registered pharmacist there good okay so walid what is your last message to the caps aspirants okay my message to all the caps aspirant is that be focused be very well prepared and be specified in your preparation for the caps because uh, for uh, as you follow more and more resources you will be confused in your exam as you will sit in the exam you will get confused uh, but don't do not go for uh, many of the resources but stick to the basics follow the basics uh, and follow the some specific files follow some specific studies uh, so you can crack the exam very very easily it was not at at was difficult as it looks. Okay. Thank you so much, Walid, for your time. This is the end of our interview. And I will just say over here that if any of the pharmacists have any question uh, relating to this pathway, so you can write in the comment section and we will answer you. Thank you so much, Walid. Thank you so much, sir.